because I'm thrilled that my friend, our friend, Jesse Zermano, is able to tell us more about what he and Jan have noticed about the people that Operation Hope serves in the Fellsmere area. Thank you, Michael. Uh, church in a while. And for those who don't know me, my name is Jesse Zermano, president of Operation Hope. Today I want to give you a quick report about what Operation Hope has done during this COVID-19 from March till September. Well, in these six months, Operation Hope performed 18 food distributions, wow. which means, Amen. which means we help over 10,000 people. When you see those lots and lots of automobiles coming to our property, you're looking probably 200 automobiles online. And when you see that quantity, it was sometimes I have to close the gate because I didn't have enough resources. Yes, we turn people away but I have no choice. The need is very high. Many people are without jobs, money is tight. People are nervous. People are stressed. People are sick. Some people, they don't want to watch TV anymore because they make more tense the news. I got a phone call yesterday from a teacher and she said Jesse we have 16 families under quarantine I wonder if you guys can help us or you can help these families in need this happened yesterday so we arranged and next week they send in somebody to pick up these resources to help those families in need we help over 400 children with school supplies and backpacks. That was awesome to see those children go back to school. That was amazing. I wanna thank you for all those wonderful people who support Operation Hope. But also I want to let you know that the people that we serve are thankful. They really appreciate what we do. In closing, yesterday, because I am the one who greet every automobile, <laughs> I'm the one. So every car comes to me, I greet the people. But yesterday, this particular automobile, this lady opened the window and she says, Jesse, I wanna thank you so much for what you and you volunteers do for, for the people. God bless you. Mm. I, wish I, can, I wish I can do more for you, but this is the best that I can do today. Okay. But she hand me her hand and she put, I feel like something put in my hand. Mm. As the automobile walk away, I see my hand and I go, wow. Well, and this is the original, this happened. She gave me a dollar. Oh. Oh, nice. See? Yeah. This. Well, my time is up. <clears throat> Thank you so much. God bless you. And I see you again. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, um, yeah, as, as you've heard me. As you, as you saw in, in, in the communications, this has been a important partner for us. And since what Church of the Wild's approach has been not to have a missions budget, because we actually believe the mission partners we recommend will receive more from the families in our church if we're not just giving a, part, a budgeted line item. And that's been the case in years past. I know because I happen to be on the board of Operation Hope, and it's a great pl pleasure of mine and just encouraging me to see how much support Operation Hope has received. So 
Uh, some of us brought checks today, but if you want to mail them a check directly, uh, or if you want to use the giving button on their Operation Hope Florida website, you can do that also.